How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and review Mo uh, Avast Mobile Security and Antivirus. It's got 100 million downloads. Holy crap, that's a lot. That's one of the top downloads I've seen. It's got 4.5 out of 5 stars. Let's see what the reviews say on it. Best antivirus, easy to use, useful, good security, great protection, constant notifications. Cool. Let's go ahead and install it and let's try it out. All right, let's go ahead and open it. All right, let's go ahead and hit the get started button here. All right, so here it is. Big scan now button here. Boost RAM option, clean junk, check speed, and lock apps. This is the most user friendly app I've seen so far. Just to the point, boost RAM, clean junk, check speed, lock apps. That That's to the point. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and hit the big scan button. It's just crying for us to hit it. Let's go ahead and hit allow here. Just go ahead and hit allow if that comes up. Now we're starting to see ads pop up. To tell you the truth, I really don't like ads. All right, so it's scanning right now. So found two risks so far. While that scans, oh, it's going pretty fast, actually. I was going to go back in the meantime. It's going pretty fast. Slow down now. Okay, let's go back for now while that runs in the background. Continue scan. So the progress is there. Let's see what Boost RAM does here while we wait for that to finish. Cleaning memory, so it goes, it gets right to it, it just starts doing it. So it's cleaning the memory right now. It's going by pretty fast. And it's done. 388 megs of RAM freed up. Nice. 25 apps killed. And of course, we've got an ad going on here. That's not good. It works. It works fine. It's just these ads can sometimes mislead people. Let's go ahead and do the clean junk feature here. It's analyzing storage right now. That's going to take a while. Holy freaking crap. Here we have an ad in the middle of our screen. Oh wait, it's not an it's not an ad. It's actually a vast mobile security. Okay, it looks a lot like an ad. I was like, what the heck? All right, let's hit resolve now. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I found two risks. USB debugging enabled. Oh come on, that's why I can be able to do stuff. Chrome protection disabled. Let's go ahead and enable that. So we got to go to accessibility to enable that. So we got to go in here, select the vast mobile security and switch on. And here it is down here. We're going to slide it to the on position. Hit OK. Go back. And hit the back button one more time. OK. So here we are. Let's go back again. So that's resolved. This we don't really. We're just going to ignore that. We want. I, I use USB deb debugging all the time. And here we have an, another ad pop up. Just great. All right, let's go back. So the scan that's done. The clean junk thing. What happened to that? Oh, there it goes. All right. So it cleaned up 5.63 megabytes. Now it's not that much. It's going to clean a heck of a lot more for you guys. But since I've been using so many of these. Um, cleaning apps my phone's already cleaned so that's why it only shows five megs there let's go ahead and hit the check speed here feature let's see what that does oh first time i see this on these apps it's actually going to check the speed of my 3g or 4g here i'm at 10, 10 point oh, actually it's going down now 10.3 megabits per second and upload around 3 point something. 3.7 megabits. Cool. That's not bad. That's the first time I've seen that in an app. 
that's what I like about Avast is it can actually tell you what your speed is. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's Wi-Fi speed that we're using right there. That's my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is not really that fast. So it wasn't even the 3G. My bad, guys. So you guys can check your 3G by doing that like that. Now, I can't I can't go to 3G because I'll lose connection to uh, MobiZen here. That's how I'm recording the screen on my phone. So I can't show you the 3G, but I recommend you guys try it. So there's this lock apps feature, but if you notice, there's a little pro thing here. That means that you probably can only use this on pro. So you got to upgrade to pro to use this. So in the free one, you only get to scan, boost RAM, clean junk, and check speed. All right. Now, where is the update button? Usually these have an update, you know, like a virus definition update. I don't see it here anywhere. And here are other apps that Avast has cleanup, battery saver, Wi-Fi finder, and secure line. But uh, it does not have an update button. Maybe only on the Pro. If it does not have an update button, I can't give this app a good review because we need to update. We need to be able to update this thing. Maybe it's found under here. No. Let's look in here again. Let's go to. Oh, there's no setting button. Oh, there it is. Yeah, settings. Let's see if it's in here. So, notifications, charging booster, protection, subscription, updates. Here we go. There we go. Here it is. It's under the settings. Let's go ahead and hit check for update. Now it's updating. So, good. This program does have, I mean, this app does have a check update feature. What did it tell us there? I missed that right there. Okay, we have the latest one. All right, guys. So I recommend you update your phone at least once a week with the new virus definitions. And there we go. Uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, app. It doesn't have much for being a free app. There's a lot of freaking ads on it. So I got to give this... Uh, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars for the review. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.